My first question was about the Invisible Boys adaptation, which I saw recently got screen funding from, or funding from Screen Australia. First of all, congratulations, not only on the funding, but also just the fact that you it's being adapted. That's so cool. Um, but I just wanted to check in and see what you could share with us about it. Yeah, um, it's so exciting, right? Like you, you kind of have your whole uh, dreams of being an author and you kind of just want to get published and that's the dream. So when you get something like, you know, film and TV rights optioned, um, mm -hmm. it's just, it's like gravy on top of the dream. Do you know what I mean? It's fantastic. Um, so I've, I've been absolutely just like stoked and just, you know, it, it's been surreal. Um, so what we've got so far is that, uh, first of all, the rights were optioned. So mm -hmm. um, director Nick Verso is on board. He's helming the project as director. And he's done things like Boys in the Trees. He's filmed Itch and Nowhere Boys. And he's won an wow. actor award. Like he's, he's, a, he's a really talented guy. Um, and the producer is Tanya Chambers, who is like former head of everything. Like she's been head of Screen West and I think chair of Screen New South Wales or something. Um, so she has has just been in the industry for a really long time, and she's just amazing. Um, the cool thing was that both of them get it, like they really get the vision yeah. for what an Invisible Boys TV series needs to be and what it doesn't need to be. Um, so that was pretty cool because you do, like you know that kind of the fear authors have of like giving up the rights to something and then just watching it go like way off track. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like. Yeah. Um, I think it was, do you know World War Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The book by Max Brooks. So I think like that got optioned and made into a movie with Very different, and very different movie to the book from what I understand. Totally. And, and um, you know, the book is like an oral history of a fictional zombie mm -hmm. war and it's so clever and like the shifting points of view and the way it tells the story globally. And then you just have this movie, which is just this really like uninspired, like, action zombie blockbuster that even Max Brooks kind of said like the only thing in common with the book is the title and that's yeah. literally the only thing um so that's like the horror story and I, I feel like I've really lucked out here because because Nick and Tanya both get it um and now we've got money so we've been funded by Screen West and we've been funded by Screen Australia oh that's awesome uh, for development oh. yeah yeah it's great to have both bodies on board um and we've done a writer's room we've actually done a full-time uh full week writer's room uh, right. to kind of sketch out the 10 episode series and what it looks like and, and where all the beats are and, um, and <laughs> that's been amazing um, really really exciting. Wow that's wonderful so you're quite so what's really nice as well is that you're obviously quite closely involved in the project including writing some of the episodes or, or part of the episodes? Yeah yeah I'll so basically I'll be a, like a key creative on the project, but definitely just on the creative side. So um, I'm in the writer's room and uh, that that was an amazing experience. I can't really talk too much about kind of mm -hmm. who was in the writer's room, but we had a whole bunch of basically gay men um, writing. And, and so we all spoke the same language and we all knew, yeah. you know, we didn't have to kind of justify why a character would do X or Y or Z because we all know what, what a, a gay teenage boy would be doing. Um, so that was really cool. Um, and yes, yeah, so, so I was in that room and then I'll probably be involved with the writing process for sure. Um, but the bizarre thing is as soon as you get something adapted for like film or TV, everyone you've ever met is like, hey, I want to be an extra or hey, I want to be an actor or, you know, did you know my cousin does a lighting company? Like, you know, like, <laughs> it, like everyone um, wants a part of it and um, I'm not on that side. So mm. Um, I don't get any say in the production side of things and frankly I don't want to because I don't know anything about producing a TV show you know um, so so that can all go to the professionals but um, yeah as you say very very cool to still be involved creatively. Yeah that's really awesome I mean like also kind of nice that you you have that wall so when people do come up to you and you're like I can't do anything <laughs> yeah. sorry <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I mean, like it does kind of hurt when it's like a friend or someone who, you know, you know, and, and you're like, I'm really sorry, but, you know, nothing to do with me. Yeah. 